to chase a dream you never thought possible. And later, a gut check on your health. How living a little dirty can actually make us healthier. So if you had 22 months to transform your life, what would you do? How about lose almost two-thirds of your own body weight? That is what one teacher from Pennsylvania managed to do, at one point tipping the scales at 514 pounds, more than a quarter ton. I introduce you to Brittany May. Brittany May is a dedicated teacher from central Pennsylvania who has always had trouble with her weight. Growing up, she says she turned to food for all emotions. But two years ago, Brittany hit a breaking point when she had to weigh herself on an industrial scale and saw she had reached 514 pounds. That's when she decided to change her life. And now she's lost more than half her body weight. So these are the pants that Brittany used to wear. But that was the old Brittany. Now she's lost more than 330 pounds. Let's take a look at the new Brittany May. When you look at those pants, what do you think? I now fit into one leg of those pants. I'm creeping up on, to, on being one third. You see people that lose half of, them, of themselves, but to be one third of my former size, right. but exponentially more available to just the people in my life. Yep. So how old are you now? 25. All right, and you, grow, you grew up an emotional eater. That I did. If it was an emotion that could be felt, I fueled it with food. If I was celebrating a success at work, I would stop in a drive through on the way home. If I was stressed, I would fuel that with food. If I was sad or even just bored, if there was a feeling, I used food to, to fix or to mend it. Mm -hmm. And you became a teacher. Mm -hmm. And you realized what about your students and your field trips? So with that, I had worked myself up to 514 pounds and I couldn't even fit behind the steering wheel of a car. My students, well, my students are a huge part of my journey and this is my little hello to them. But <laughs> What grade? High school. Okay. High school. But I was this agriculture teacher, so I'm teaching so many hands-on physical things, but I was the reason they couldn't go on these trips because I couldn't drive them there. Uh, we couldn't do certain competitions because I couldn't sustain through the day. I wanted to be this role model for my students, but I was the reason they weren't getting their full potential, and it broke my heart. Mm -hmm. It absolutely broke my heart. Is it true you were avoiding the doctor for years? I did. So I got my physical my junior year of high school that I needed, and I didn't go to the doctors until eight years later. Why? I just didn't. I knew, because all the doctors' conversations were oh, you need to lose weight, you should probably get some weight off. And it, it wasn't a fun process for me. You so didn't want to hear it. I didn't want to hear it. Well, I mean, obviously, if you're 500 pounds, you're thinking, I need to lose some weight. This is not lost on you that you're overweight. So you tried, right? You tr did you try all the diets? Everything under the sun. It was fad diets. We would have little in-home family competitions, just everything. But left to my own devices, doing things on my own, I. It just wouldn't happen. So do you come from a heavy family? I mean, does, does obesity run in your family? Not necessarily obesity. A lot of my family is overweight. I, by far, was the largest in my family by over 200 pounds. But again, food was just the, the center point of our family. I mean, potato was its own food group. Yeah, it, I, I, come, I come from a, a heavy family, and my mother always loves it when I mention this on television. Uh, she always wants me to point out that she, she has lost weight now, and she... <laughs> so for, for the record, Mom, you look great. Um, <laughs> but, but, you know, was it done, like, as a family? Was everybody emotional eaters? Because I think a lot of people out there, like, my, like myself, were raising kids, and were wondering how to help them with that, how to, how to avoid making them emotional eaters. So it's just over time. Again, you don't just wake up one morning and boom, 500 pounds. It's just healthy habits that you don't necessarily realize are, are unhealthy habits that are happening over time. But again, just food doesn't, learning a healthy relationship with food. Mm -hmm. So you had the, one of the aha moments when you wanted to weigh yourself once and for all and see how much the number was. And you had to do that in a special way. Yes. So 
I realized I could no longer weigh myself at home. We had tried using two individual scales, putting one foot on one, one foot on the other. No, that doesn't work. That's, that's not an accurate <laughs> method. But I went to my father's workplace, and it was a, a scale used to weigh cage tanks of fertilizer and other products. But there I was, brushed off the dust of the screen, and at 23 years of age, I was over a quarter of a ton. Uh, you don't necessarily associate people weight in tons, but no. there I was. And that was it. She had reached her breaking point and decided, after having tried every diet imaginable, to do something different. Her former high school classmate came into her life, and when we come back, we will hear about that game-changing weight loss plan. We'll be right back. And we are back now with 25-year-old teacher Brittany May, who has lost over 330 pounds, two-thirds of her body weight, in a little less than two years. Her mom, Linda, also joins us. Welcome. Okay, so let's talk about it. What is the name of the plan? Optivia. Optivia. What is that? Well, it's the optimal way. It's a four-part <laughs> component program. I've got the support of, of my Optivia coach, and now I'm a coach paying Is that your friend who came to you? My friend from high school, absolutely. Krista, near and dear, oh my goodness. Krista said, come on in, Brittany, come on in. Come the water's in. fine. Exactly. <laughs> All right, so you need a coach. A coach. And again, she's not the food police. She's not there to tell me I'm doing things wrong. We celebrate the victories along the way. We check in and plan for the week ahead, but just the individual one-on-one -on -one guidance. Okay, so that's one. What's one. two? Two is a community. Because again, we are, we are humans. We are meant to have a tribe. And with that, I have a community of people who are doing the same exact thing that I'm doing. Some days I'm their support, and some days they're mine. Mm -hmm. Like but when you want to eat, when exactly. you, you call up and say, I'm having that Jones, yep. talk me through it. Exactly. So we're all just helping each other, whatever, whether it's 10 pounds or 300, like, I'm, like I've lost, we're all just helping each other reach our best possible selves. Just in the break, uh, one of our audience members told us she lost 10 pounds doing uh, Octavia, and you lost six. Your son lost 16 pounds, right? 60? 60. 60 pounds doing Octavia. Um, your mom is, has just started, but I want to get to the yes. other two points. So yes. you've got your community, you've got your coach. What are the other two? Healthy habits. So again, I didn't just wake up one morning at 514 pounds. It was 23 years of habitual badness in my life and just working through whether it's drinking more water or getting sleep. I actually didn't set foot in a gym until three weeks ago, mainly just because it was fun and I wanted to see what I could do strength wise, mm -hmm. but just getting more healthy movements in your day and one habit at a time. And what's four? What's four four? Is, is the food component. So I'm using the 501 program. I'm using fuelings provided through the company. Is fuelings food? Fuelings like, is, is it food. You, you again, eat Octavia food? Exactly. So through Octavia fuelings, I have these, again, it's, it's quick, it's efficient, it's scientifically proven as a tool to help me get to my weight loss, but I also have a meal on my own. So I'm learning portion controls, I'm learning mm -hmm. healthy cooking habits. It's all four of these parts. Do they together. deliver like the tray, or like you buy the tray of like breakfast and the tray of lunch, like they, they idiot proof it for you? So there's over 60 options and you can interchange them. So if I want to have a brownie for breakfast, some mornings you just have a brownie for breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> but they're all interchangeable. You can have them throughout your day. It comes to my doorstep every month. And now, through those, I'm using them through my weight loss program or through my weight loss journey, but I have the first three parts at my leisure for life. See, I, lo I love a diet that, as I say, idiot proofs it because you don't, just don't want to have to think about it. It's like, I'm just going to eat this. Somebody else has already counted all the stuff, but it is important to learn as well. And mom, so when did you start it, Linda? Three weeks ago. And I mean, so far, is it hard? No, it's very easy. Do you feel deprived? Because that's the thing about diets is if you, if you feel hungry, no. they fail. No. How proud are you of her? Oh, extremely. Right? <laughs> extremely. It's incredible. Incredible. And can I just ask you, we had that belt out here. What do you do with that belt? What's this, that about? This belt, well, first off, I had to lose 50 pounds to, to wear this belt. And it's, uh -huh. well, if you don't mind, I'd like to stand for a second because it is actually longer <laughs> than wow. I am tall. Wow. <laughs> but it's my own personal roadmap to my journey. I bought this belt 50 pounds in and I've moved 40 belt holes since then. Wow. That's amazing. But I know that now you work for Activia as a health coach and you are helping other people, at least 17 of them, so you're paying it forward as well. Good Absolutely. for you. Good luck with it. Thank you so much. All the best to you and your family. We will be right back.